Hi, my name is John Brown, and I lead our external outreach efforts, representing the publisher policy team. Today, I want to chat about our user-generated content policy. Our goal is to create a safe environment where users, advertisers, and publishers all thrive, feel protected, and trust the digital advertising ecosystem. With this in mind, we regularly review the content within our publisher network. Just as our publishers should expect us to remove non-compliant advertisements, our advertisers expect that we won't place their ads near content that isn't policy compliant. So what does this mean for publishers? Publishers that have comment sections, forums, social media posts, and more on their site must realize that comments from users must also be compliant with Google policies. Therefore, if a publisher writes an article on a current event, they are responsible for ensuring that user comments meet our policy criteria. We apply policy enforcement to user comments in order to build trust with users and advertisers in the digital advertising ecosystem. Great content from you, the publisher, can be undone by vulgar or hateful comments from your users. This can damage your brand, offend your users, and cause you to violate Google policies. We enforce our policies on anything that appears on your pages where our Google ads appear. Publishers must understand that not every commenter is well-intentioned. Consequently, comment sections can become a place where negative, rude, and abusive comments take away from your article or your brand. As a publisher, there are some things that you can do to keep user comments while still monetizing with Google. First, understand that you are responsible for all content on your pages where Google ad code appears. Here are some best practices for handling user-generated content. Publish a content policy. Basically, write and publish what is allowed and what is not so that your users are on notice. Assess the risks involved with user comments before monetizing a page with user comments. Monitor your pages that feature user-generated content. Ask your users to report violations and give them a link to report violating content. Build or use an automated content filtering system to detect violations and disable ad serving. Use a third-party plugin for commenting. This may be a better option than building your own system. Many of these systems have a robust moderation and content filtering plugin. If you build your own system, you'll have to put a plan into place to monitor user comments through strong and responsive controls, either with continuous human or algorithmic monitoring. Here's another option to consider. Smaller publishers may benefit from a simple design change. Rather than placing comments on the same page as your content, you could put comments on a separate page with no ad code. At the end of your content, place a call to action such as user comments or view comments. When a user clicks on the call to action, they are transported to a new page where no Google ad code is present. All of our policies are designed and enforced to build trust in the digital advertising ecosystem. The futures of Google and our partners are linked, and we believe in fostering an environment where users, advertisers, and publishers can all thrive in a healthy digital advertising ecosystem. By valuing each party equally, we help in the sustainability of our industry. We hope this video helps you to better understand our user-generated content policy. You can find more videos explaining our policies within the policy playlist on our channel. Thanks for watching.